Alright, hey guys, today we're doing a new tutorial in Adobe After Effects and I will be going over how they created the isolated red color or the solo color in the Avengers Endgame trailer. They used it really effectively to highlight some areas and some scenes. So this is what we'll be creating today in After Effects and I think we can jump into the tutorial. So we're going to start off with a new composition and once we have our composition I'm really quickly going to drag in our clip which is just this Thor clip right here. And it has that nice red color that we're going to isolate. So then we're going to go into our effects and presets. We're going to find, let's see, we're going to find leave color. So this is built into After Effects and we're going to drag and drop it right onto our scene. Now once it's on there, we're going to select a color that we want to isolate. Now when you're choosing a color, try to pick one within the mid ranges. So we have a bright red here. We have a really dark red here. We want to pick that nice middle ranged red right on the shoulder. And now when we crank up the amount to decolor, it gets us really close to the effect we want. You may notice that some of the red here that we wanted was cut out. And so what we can try doing is changing match color from RGB to using hue. And just like that, that's going to restrict it. It's going to give us all the red color that we wanted. And uh, it's looking pretty good. But you may notice, well, there are some sections on the face, there are some sections on the hands that we don't exactly want to have that red color. So if you want to try correcting this, the easiest way is to play around with your tolerance and your softness. So we want to decrease the tolerance, try to get rid of some of that on the face, and as much as we can without getting rid of the main feature, which is the cape. Uh, in terms of edge softness, you're going to use this if you want to add color to your scene. So you can add it and it still we're going to have this nice isolated and it's going to highlight the character and everything but if you looked at the actual trailer they didn't have any edge softness at all it was only the red that was isolated so we're going to leave that at zero for now so when it comes to the finer stuff like the hands and the mouth we have to put in a little bit more work so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our layer we're going to get rid of leave color we don't need that anymore and instead, we're going to add black and white. Oops. Black and white. So this is built into After Effects again under color correction. We're going to drag and drop that into our layer. And it's just going to instantly turn it to black and white. Now, all we have to do is we can shut off viewing the layer. With this top layer selected, the one that's black and white, grab your pen tool. And now just really quickly highlight all the areas that you want to have that you want to have additionally removed of that red color. So uh, it's not going to be too perfect, but we're going to create a quick mask here. Get rid of the hand. We're going to do one here around the mouth. And uh, maybe one more here on the hand. Perfect. So now when we turn on that layer, we have all those sections in black and white and we have exactly what we need to be uh, isolated and it, it does look really nice. It is a really cool effect. I did want to say that when you are do using this effect, you want to make sure that you have a very like slow moving scene. You don't want the hands or the face to be moving around a lot because then you'll have to track the mask and it's going to be a lot more effort. So again, you want to have a slow cinematic, uh, which is really what Marvel excels at and they have a lot of these slow cinematic scenes and that's why this color isolation was a really good effect. Anyway, thanks for watching the tutorial and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe.